Of hundreds of students enrolled at the University of the Bahamas, virtual learning is not the only, not only rather than new norm, but the only option for up to 90% of classes. Lloyd Allen has a one-on-one -on -one with a freshman who contends that while he remains happy to begin his college journey, challenges remain in optimizing his capabilities. Today we're speaking with Michael Prescott. He's a college freshman who says that he's been experiencing some challenges as a result of virtual learning. As it relates to the college life, it was a big step from the high school life coming directly into the college scene with no smooth transition. Because as we all know, since March, we were just catapulted into the COVID life. At the end of my high school year, um, it was kind of an eye-opener on what is really happening. I didn't get the full experience I wanted, the full experience I needed. But in the virtual platform, it only made the work harder. Paint a picture for us about how your experience was in high school. Before COVID-19, we had the opportunity to say, okay, I'm going to this teacher. Let me ask the teacher for help before class. Let me ask the teacher for help like lunchtime. We had that type of relationship with our teachers, whereas we could just go to them, just pop up in their class and say, hey, Miss So-and-so, I need a little bit of assistance with this. Going into the COVID part of it, all of that was just taken away from us. What kind of learner would you say that you are? I am a kinesthetic. Um, learner because I need to be in an actual class setting in order for me to be able to function to my full capacity. It's different when you have teachers teaching in a virtual setting because they can't necessarily reach out to you and go one-on-one. -on -one. If you could request or uh, have it your way, how would you like to see things uh, change right now? If that one barrier was, was torn down, I would want the universities and the high schools, everyone just to accept the students and have certain precautions installed. As a college student, would you say that the virtual environment is affecting your performance uh, when it comes down to the nitty gritty of your grades? Yes. As a student, I perform my best in class. I am not used to staying at home all day. Michael is among over 1,600 freshmen at the University of the Bahamas starting their college career on the virtual platform. While this avenue may not be ideal, college officials say they continue to do their best to assist students like Michael. UB Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Maria Woodside Oriaki, explained several online resources have been made available for the over 1,200 courses offered this semester. University of the Bahamas, through the Office of the Academic Affairs, continues to facilitate a teaching and learning environment that enriches and engage our students and support the on-time progress towards degree completion. That high quality courses in modalities suitable to student learning outcomes must continue to be available to all students despite the limitations of physical and social distancing. Lloyd Allen, ZNS, Network News.